Sobonane Zului. Choral music maestro Joseph Shabalala is to be awarded the National Order of Ikamanga in gold posthumously. President Cyril Ramaphosa says he would nominate the Lady Smith Black Mambazo founder for the order bestowed for excellence in arts, culture, music, literature and journalism. The president delivered the eulogy at Shabalala's funeral in Lady Smith, Kwazulu Natal. He also committed to establishing an Isitkatami Academy in honor of the music icon. Shabalala died more than a week ago in a Pretoria hospital at the age of 78. The president hailed Shabalala as a musical genius. Babu Shabalala had long urged that various types of isitatamiya be researched, be analyzed by musicologists, be notated and be taught in music academies. We want this to be recorded by artists, by poets, and academics. It was his greatest wish to see the Mambazo Academy for South African Music and Culture up and running. I am encouraged that just last week, our Premier Sitya Zigalala addressed this matter at a memorial service. We must do all we can to see to it that Ubabu Shabalala's dream does indeed come true and that it is realized and we should have a Black Mambazo Academy that will teach young people Istatami. <laughs> In 2008, Lady Smith Black Mambazo received the order of Ikamanga in silver for their role in promoting indigenous music. The president said he would nominate Shabalala to be the recipient posthumously of the same national order in gold. I'm going to be nominating Ubaba Ushabalala himself to be awarded the national order of Ikamanga in gold posthumously. Ramaphosa described Shabalala's music career as nothing short of phenomenal. He said his music promoted peace and harmony during trying times in South Africa. And mourners continue to pay their heartfelt tributes to Joseph Shabalala. Thousands gathered to bid farewell to the music icon. Shabalala was hailed as a talented and professional artist, but a humble human being. Mona said he played a unifying role during the height of political violence in the province. He took Istatamia to the world stage and left a lasting legacy. Debra Fraser and Apikel Kupega were among the local artists paying their respect. American singer, songwriter Dolly Patin sent a moving letter of condolences which was read out at the service. The group's popularity paved the way for them to collaborate with global artists during the cultural boycott. I mentioned one of the days on my visit to Mshengu where he lived in the hostels that I had been to Philadelphia and had met with musician Kenneth Gamble. I made him aware that Kenneth Gamble was interested in his music. He then made a joke about how Philadelphia seemed almost as far away as heaven. He did not believe that he could make such an impact. So, uh, Lady Smith Black Mambazo rose to international stardom when they worked with Paul Simon on the album Graceland in 1986. They went on to win five Grammy Awards. I want to celebrate a musical icon, someone I worked 30 years with and traveled the world and watched him make something out of the impossible. A farm kid from Lady Smith had a dream to sing, to put together a singing group, and to conquer the world with it. Five Grammy Awards, no other group in Africa or in world music achieved that. In 2008, Lady Smith Black Mambazo received the National Order of Ikamanga Silver for promoting indigenous music. Shavalala received honorary doctorates from the University of KwaZulu-Natal and the Durban University of Technology. 
I lost a friend, I lost a father, I lost my hero who put our family on the world stage. His grandchildren say he set them a good example. He taught us a lot. He taught us respect, love and never giving up on your dreams. We will never forget and we will forever be grateful for his life and pray our family never forget all the things he believed in and stood for. Shabalala was laid to rest at the Stateville Cemetery in Ladysmith. And of course, as many would agree,